What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Lil Nas X, man. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen the video. Unfortunately, I have. I've been looking at the reactions rolling in from a lot of different people. And if you look at where Lil Nas X started and where you look at where he is now, is he being more of who he is? Maybe he is. But I also feel like this is somebody that wants to be relevant by any means necessary. Now, not only did Lil Nas X go viral for his uh, music video, which is uh, this whole level of just, I don't know what. It's like w I, watching the video. It was like, what in the fuck is this? Okay. But that wasn't the worst part. The worst part was the fact that he came out with a shoe. Apparently by Nike, but Nike's denying it. Nike is denying that they <laughs> they helped put this shoe out. So what's going on here? <laughs> well, what's going on here? Now... Lil Nas X is getting some pushback some because y'all know people are afraid to go at, you know, uh, people who appear to be part of the alphabet community because, you know, they don't want to get canceled. But in this situation, anybody with any sane uh, mindset will look at that shoe. I mean, the video was the video, but they would say when you have a Nike shoe that has apparently human blood in it, and it's triple six. It's a triple six shoe, right? Any same person. I mean, I, I would say Christian, right? Maybe spiritual. You know, even if you aren't religious, you should be taken aback by this. Especially if you have children. Do you want your children looking up to this? This is nothing to be proud of. This is nothing to cheer about. This is clearly somebody who's doing anything he can to stay relevant because when Old Town Road first went viral, he made it a point to say, hey, my 15 minutes ain't over. I'm still going to be here, right? And now he's doing whatever he can to stay, re stay as relevant as possible. And he's going to these links in order to do it. Now, I want people to understand you have you have a right to have any expression that you want. But it seems to me that he is going he's pushing the envelope as far as he possibly can. And he is getting some pushback. And of course, he's responding because he want to make some make himself look like the victim. But, bro. You're putting out these messages that people don't agree with. And just like you have a right to put the type of music you want to put out there, the type of visuals you want to put out there, people have a right to call you out. People have every right to say, I, I don't agree. What is this? You have a shoe with human blood. Are you serious? And it coincides with his music video for his song. Call me by your name. And I think that people have every right to call this out because we already have enough of these demonic messaging going on, not only in music, but as well as in TV shows, in films, you see this messaging a lot and people are going to push back on it because everybody ain't got to agree with this. If you are a so-called Christian, because there's a lot of you so-called Christians out there, you should be calling this out. Now, again, he, he does have a right to do what he won't be, but he also has a right to get criticized as well. And people do have a right to criticize him Because this guy is willing to do whatever it takes to stay relevant, whatever it takes. 
he might not even be a part of the, the alphabet community but it, you know when you when you go when you go from where he was when he first started to where he is now he's willing to stay there by any means necessary and that's not, and that's a honestly that's a dangerous person because they will do whatever it takes to make sure that people are talking about them that people are promoting them and that's what you have to be careful of with these guys man people have every right to call this out people have every right to say you know what something's wrong with this i don't agree with this when you look at this situation in its entirety and how young melanated males are being used to push this agenda you don't really you don't see any other group of uh males from any other community going this far but you do see Lil Nas X going this far why is it so easy for us to do this stuff now this may be who he is but is he gonna gain fans or is he gonna lose them he goes from rapping in front of children to old town road to hopping on the devil and giving him a lap dance and this is being put out here the image of melanated men is continuing to be drugged through the mud continuing to be drugged through the mud man and it's sad that this is where we are but this is where we are because honestly these these melanated males will do whatever it takes for attention they will do whatever it takes to get people to continue to i would say especially if you're a celebrity to continue to buy your music to continue to, you know to follow you to support you but to me, it looks like not Lil Nas X is out there by himself. That's why he's releasing fake apology videos, because he really is out there by himself, almost. Unless somebody insults him for his quote-unquote orientation, he is out here by himself, and he's gonna realize that he'll be used to push an agenda. But for the most part, he's out here by himself, unless it fits a narrative. Nobody has to like these shoes, man. Listen, I'm looking at you so-called Christian blacks. Where are y'all at? Where are y'all at? Y'all are vocal. You know, y'all go to church every week. Why aren't y'all vocal? You know what? It's because y'all are too busy defending his right to like other guys, which is, it is what that's his business. I don't want to know what a guy does in their bedroom. I don't want to know what these women do in their bedroom, unless they want to make it public. People can do whatever they want to in the privacy of their own home. The problem is they want everybody to know how they live their life. They want everybody to know who they're into, what their type is. When everybody really ain't got to know that. And see, Lil Nas X is young. And I think naive to a, a certain degree because he, he has even admitted that he is a troll that he's been a troll for years he's a guy that likes to troll other people well he did troll other people and he kind of still does but more so in a mainstream manner people have every right to call him out because this is to me i mean it, how further can he go looking at lil nas x perspective how much further can he go in his music and in his visuals i mean he went all the way with this one he went all the way in this one and it's like well how much further can you go you gave a lap dance to the devil so how much further are you willing to go what are you willing to do that's the thing that's that's, that's got people thinking like if he's willing to do this what else is he willing to do how much further is he willing to go and i'm pretty sure he's gonna think of something to take this further than it needs to go 
but that but just because and i hope he understands this just because you are repping the alphabet community so to speak does not mean that you're immune to getting canceled that you're immune to getting criticized even though it's going to be very difficult but again it's getting harder and harder for people to defend him because he is going as far he's pushing the envelope as far as possible maybe he feels like he has to to get people to buy his music to continue to support him you know people talk about tyler the creator they talk about what he may or may not rep tyler alludes to things in his music even in his actions but you don't see tyler the creator giving lap dances to the devil wearing high-heeled boots all right where you know promoting shoes with apparently human blood in them you don't see that from him because to him it's all about making music pushing the envelope a little bit but not going too far because you don't want to lose your audience completely you don't want you don't want to become a meme you don't want to become a cautionary tale you want everything to be focused primarily on the music and on the fashion okay you don't want to become somebody that becomes like that guy that you know that guy's weird <laughs> that weird guy you know that you know that flamboyant guy right you got to have certain boundaries that's how you're able to have longevity but if you've been in the game what a couple years and you're doing things like this how long do you think you're gonna last 